A very good evening to you. I'm Dwayne Brobick with your Business Day. Jamaica has passed the second review under the precautionary standby agreement with the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. IMF Mission Chief to Jamaica, Umar Rama Krishnan, made the announcement at a press briefing which ended a short while ago in Kingston. It now opens Jamaica access to more funding. Consideration by the IMF's Executive Board um, is tentatively scheduled for October 2017. Upon approval, an additional uh, amount of about US uh, $180 million will be made available for Jamaica, bringing the total accessible credit under this precautionary standby to about $790 million. US dollars. Now, many people have become used to hearing the country passing these tests, but Prime Minister Andrew Holness reminded the country not to take for granted the effort going into a successful IMF review. Passing of these reviews cannot be taken for granted. Under the precautionary standby arrangement, reviews are conducted every six months rather than every three months under the previous EFF. In some ways, this represents a graduation for Jamaica. But I'm reluctantly saying this because it doesn't mean that it is any easier. The Scotia Group recorded a 7% increase in net profit for the nine months ended July 31. It amounted to $8.99 billion. This represents a $615 million increase in net income. However, net income for the third quarter was $3.3 billion, compared to $3.5 billion for the previous three months. Total revenues for the nine months were $30.96 billion, representing an increase of $2.1 billion when compared to the previous year. Scotia says this was achieved through increased loan and transaction volumes. The U.S. dollar today closed at a new all-time high again this time over the $131 mark for the first time at $131.22. The Canadian dollar costs $107.94. The pound sterling costs $172.97, while the euro is selling for $156.51. The price of oil climbed for a fourth straight session today to settle at the highest level in more than six weeks. Oil for delivery in October rose 59 cents. It closed at $49.89, the highest close since July 31. Main Event Entertainment reports its profit grew 69% in the nine months to the end of July. The total profit was $101 million during the period. It was earned from revenues totaling $942 million. Barita Investments has now confirmed a business day report that the offer it has received came from Cornerstone United Holdings. The securities dealer says Cornerstone has proposed to purchase a majority stake. It however said the terms and conditions of the acquisition are dependent on negotiations which are yet to be finalized. Margaret Turk says its profit for the year up to the end of May was down from a year ago levels. The company reported earnings of 500 million US dollars. That is down from 934 million a year ago. Revenues were also down, falling 5% to 6.5 million US dollars. Stocks traded mostly low on Thursday with the JC market index losing 1,157 points, while the junior market index is up 23 points. The stocks posting gains today included cargo handlers, Carreras, Grace Kennedy, Kingston Wharves, Lasco Manufacturing, the NCB Financial Group, and Salada Foods. The losers included 138 Student Living, Berger Paints, Express Catering, the Kelly Group, Panjam, Radio Jamaica, and Supreme Ventures. And that's the Business Day. I'm Dwayne Burbick. Good evening. <music>